in a shuffled standard poker deck, how many cards do you expect to pull until getting an ace? This question was asked by one of our viewers and I'm honored to be able to present it. We'll look at two different solutions, a straightforward and rigorous one and a clever and easy one. So, a standard poker deck has 52 cards, four of them being aces. The only thing we have to know is summarized as we have four desirable cards and a remainder of 48 undesirable ones. How does the number of non-aces affect our result? If we have zero cards besides the aces, we would need to make one draw before seeing one. If we add one card that's not an ace, then with a probability of 4 divided by 5, we draw an ace, and with a probability of 1 divided by 5, we draw the one card that's not an ace. But then, as expected, we have to draw an ace afterwards. In the first case, we drew one card in total, and in the second case, two cards. Combining the two, we get that the expectation is 1.2. Let us now consider a deck with four aces and n total cards, and denote by f of 4 and n the expected number of draws until we see an ace. We have just proved that f of 4 and 4 is 1, and f of 4 and 5 is 1.2. We are looking for f of 4 and 52, which we can perhaps find using a general formula for the function. So, in the matter of f of 4 and n, either the first card is an ace, meaning that we needed only one card, which happens with probability 4 divided by n, or the first card is not an ace, meaning that we drew one card, and we expect to have to draw f of 4 and n minus 1 more, given that the deck decreased by one card. This happens with probability n minus 4 divided by n. We can average over the two branches using the fact that the expectation is linear and gather that f of 4 and n is 4 divided by n plus n minus 4 divided by n times 1 plus f of 4 and n minus 1 for any n greater than or equal to 4. Using this formula, we get that f of 4 and 6 is 1.4, and f of 4 and 7 is 1.6. We can already see that the pattern emerges, and then use mathematical induction to prove that f of 4 and n is n plus 1 divided by 5. The formal proof is rather easy, and it's a good exercise for any viewer. In the end, the answer to the first question and the value of f of 4 and 52 are both 10.6. We observe that moving from n to n plus 1 cards in the deck, we only increment the value of the function by 0.2. You might ask yourself, where is this number coming from? The next solution provides a beautiful intuition behind the result we proved before. Let's get back to our deck now. We have shuffled it. And now we are dealing all the cards one after the other. The four aces and the imaginary limits of the deck partition the cards into five groups. In certain situations, the groups might be of size 0 if the first or last card is an ace, or if we are lucky to draw two consecutive ones, but we are sure that when adding the length of the groups, we will always get 52 minus the four aces, namely 48 cards. We can express this length by five random variables, x1 through x5. As we observed, their sum is 48. Due to symmetry, their expectations are equal. While knowing that the sum of expectations is the expectation of the sum, 
we get that the expected length of the first group is 48 divided by 5, which is also 9.6. We are only left to add 1 to this number to account for the a's that bound this group. This new way of looking at the problem explains perfectly why the increment in the previous solution was 0.2. When adding one more card to the deck, we are distributing this value between 5 groups, hence the increase of 1 divided by 5. Whether we want to triple check the result, we can also simulate our expectations for a million shuffled decks and arrive at the same result. Thank you to the patrons that supported this video and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this and would love to see more, like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the alarm bell to get notifications when new videos are released. Leave any comments about this problem in the box beneath the video or on the dedicated webpage. For more info and other materials, please check the description box. See you next time!